Indexes.conf options. These are the options we can set in the indexes.conf file using stanzas and values. We can do it globally, per index, per provider family, per provider, and per virtual index. Now the bottom three, as we'll see, mostly have to do with when you're working with Splunk and Hadoop. But the top two are important to understand for this class. The global settings are defined at the beginning of the file or in the default stanza. Each index.conf file only has one default stanza. These are the settings again that apply to all indexes across the entire Splunk environment. We can also set per index options under an index name stanza. In a few of these we can set both globally and per index. We can set bucket paths, database sizes, specify event or metric data types, and a bunch of other things. There's a index reference document on the Splunk documentation that shows you all the options for global and per index options, and I recommend you do take a look at that. Per provider options are for external resource providers. Often this is Hadoop. We won't go too deeply into ERPs in this class, but they are like search helpers often used for streaming data, for example, from Hadoop. All provider stanzas begin with provider colon then the provider name. Then we have per provider family options. And these are things that are common to a whole family of products like Hadoop, Hive, Spark, things like that that you'll see together. All properties that can be used in a family can be used in a provider. If the same property is specified in a provider family and in a provider belonging to that family, the family value takes precedent. Stanzas for provider families begin with provider dash family colon then the provider family name. Per virtual index options, and again, these are common for the Hadoop family, and they let Splunk access data stored in external systems and push computations to those systems. So it's almost like you're Splunking in the Hadoop environment instead of in your Splunk environment. 